Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. From the topic isometric projection, you will draw your 11th isometric exercise today to the given dimensions now on your right. You will first draw a horizontal baseline and an isometric rectangle to the given dimensions. You will now measure 30 millimeters from the end of this point on this line. Now from this point, you will draw a line horizontally in this direction and also a line vertically in this direction. To draw these lines, you must use your set square coupled with your T square. Now measure and identify 40 millimeters from this point on this line. Now draw a horizontal line from this point in this direction horizontally. From this intersection, you will draw a vertical line. Now from this intersection, you will measure and identify 40 millimeters on this line. It could also be measured and identified from this point on this line too. Now from the point you just identified, draw a horizontal line from this point in this direction. Now from this intersection and also this intersection, you will draw horizontal lines in this direction. Now measure and identify 30 millimeters from this point on this line or you could also measure this 30 millimeters from this intersection on this line. Now from this point, you will draw a horizontal line in this direction that is parallel to this line. Use your set square and your T-square. Now draw a vertical line from this intersection. This vertical line should intersect right at this intersection if all you are doing is accurate. Now extend this line vertically. From this intersection, measure and identify 10 millimeters. Now draw an horizontal line from this intersection to this line. From this intersection and also this intersection, you will draw horizontal lines in this direction and also this direction. Now measure and identify 10 millimeters from this intersection on this line or from this intersection on this line. Now what you notice is that it falls exactly in line 
with this line here. Now from this intersection, draw a vertical line in this direction. From this intersection, also draw a vertical line in this direction. Now use your set square along with your t-square and draw a horizontal line from this intersection to this point. Now go ahead and outline your required isometric projection. Excellent! It was not hard at all. Border your paper 